What is going on YouTube? SciGuy29 coming at you here for another episode of Crafts and Cards. Welcome to the Cardboard Pub. This is episode number 23. Hard to believe. A couple of special editions thrown in there, but uh, getting closer and closer. Got my twin stuff on. Might give you a hint on what's coming today. Um, glad you could join us at the Cardboard Pub. Got a little Soul Asylum. A good Minnesota band on the jukebox. Um, gonna share a beer from what a lot of people consider the best at least the most widely known brewery in Minnesota, and that is Surly. And today I'm gonna drink a Grind Core. Uh, their can art is outstanding. Uh, but the Grind Core uh, is an espresso milk stout, which I personally love. Espresso, not espresso, espresso. So it's a coffee milk stout. Um, love milk stouts, smooth, easy drinking, usually pretty low ABV. This one's a 5.3. Let's go ahead and crack it open so you can see its dark goodness. It's technically considered an English ale yeast. Uh, look at that baby pour. Yeah, we're not going to see any light through this baby. But that's just exactly kind of what you want to see in a good looking dark milk stout. Mm, good stuff. Cheers. Very coffee forward, but very smooth. No bite at the end. Uh, it's funny, on their website for ABVs, it's 5.3, but for IBUs, all it says is low. So that's always a good sign to me. I'm, I'm a low IBU guy usually. Every now and then, I enjoy it, but for the most part, not a whole lot. So cheers. And I figured today, Minnesota beer might as well share a couple Minnesota Twins cards out of my collection. There's nothing outstanding in this group. Some nice cards, don't get me wrong. Some of my favorite players. A couple that just recently showed up. I'm um, going to start with this. Is a was a TTM uh, for me back in the spring. Uh, last spring. Uh, shortly after the pandemic started. Uh, school has got closed for a while. I had a little time and did some TTMing. And this was one of the first ones I sent. That was Mr. Tom Kelly. Uh, sign in blue right there across his blue jacket. I don't know how well you can see it. But really quick turnaround. It was like eight day turnaround, uh, which is pretty good. And here's the back of the card. And twins card, obviously. But uh, Mr. Kelly, the only man to get the Twins two World Series titles. Any World Series titles for that matter. So wanted to share that right away. Uh, next we have a, a 60s, I think 62, Hal Narragon. Catcher there with the Twins. Uh, once again, background shot of an old stadium. Can't quite tell what that is, but good looking card nonetheless. Uh, next, we're going to go with a Cracker Jack, Joe Maurer. Love these Cracker Jack cards, the throwback stuff. Um, arguably one of the greatest twins ever. Uh, I think definitely in the top five. You know, uh, a lot of people are going to say Killebrew, Carew, Puckett. Uh, He's right in that conversation. Oliva's got to be in that conversation. So, uh, but Joe Maurer, you know, the local legend is top on top of that. Uh, next, we're going to go to a 74, 74 Rod Carew. Recently picked this up. Yes, it's off center, left to right. Top to bottom's a little bit off as well. But for the price, couldn't go wrong. Only a dollar. So, couldn't go wrong on that one. Love my Rodney Klein Carew. Uh, and if, if you... I'm going to hold this up for a minute. Um, there's a podcast uh, called Baseball by the Book um, that covers different books about baseball. And they interview the authors. Um, and sometimes they interview the people that it was about. Uh, and there's, a, there's one out there with Rod Carew on it. Uh, really fascinating stuff. Talk about his time uh, early in his career, first coming up. Uh, what a big help Tony Oliva was to him. So it's just a, it was a really interesting listen to me. Haven't yet found the book, uh, but certainly one that's on my list of, of books to get. So Rodney Klein Carew. Next we have the, I think it's a 64 Minnesota Twins team card. Uh, not bad left to right top, a little top to bottom off, I guess, when it goes this way. Uh, there's the back of the card. Print's so small, good luck reading it. Stop it if you need to. Uh, gonna get a little more modern now. Uh, go with a uh, 
Oh, what year is this? 86 Leaf or Donruss. Kirby Puckett Diamond King. Okay, and as you look on the back, that is what I paid for it. That was a quarter. So, can't go wrong with a Puckett, a PC guy, for a quarter. Yes, I've got probably 15 of them already, but for a quarter, I'm going to add that to the pile. Uh, next, uh, we have a Royce Lewis, Donruss Optic, a rated rookie. Hopefully this guy is about ready to go. Uh, I think he is, so hopefully that continues and progression is where it needs to be. One moment, another quick drink of this espresso milk stout. It's really good. Uh, next we have a Louis Rees Bowman Platinum. Uh, he's a guy that I really enjoy. Just a, he's a hitter is what he is. Uh, the guy can just swing the stick. It uh, doesn't hurt you defensively, which is always a good sign. Hopefully his progression continues. Uh, next we're going to go a couple of old school. Uh, we're going to start with this one. One of the 65 tops, Bob Allison, outfielder for the Twins when they were really successful in the early to mid-60s. Um, had a really good career as well. Had some injuries later on, I believe, that kind of took a few years from him, but one of those guys I hear my dad talk about. My dad grew up in southern Minnesota. Um, grew up a Cardinals fan because when he was young, there was no such thing as the Twins. Uh, but he grew up a Cardinals fan as uh, he had an uncle that uh, actually played in the minor league system for the Cardinals back in the 30s and 40s. So uh, Bob Allison. Uh, next, we're going to go to the Rod Crew Sporting News All-Star card. Yes, I realize it's off-center a little bit. But, once again, most of these cards in my collection. You got the Rod Crew there. You can read that. Uh, Rod Crew is one of the first twins I ever interacted with. Personally, in a game. I had a video about that and a video response back a few months uh, a few months ago. Um, I don't remember who that was for. I think that might have been for Ticket Leprechaun. But, uh, if you want to hear about that, you can go back and check that out. And the last one's a more recent one. A uh, guy that just made his debut during the 2020 season. Uh, and a guy that I have high hopes for. Uh, played well while he's up. Just had had off-season uh, knee surgery, I believe, which is never good for a catcher. Uh, but that's Mr. Ryan Jeffers. And this is a uh, Bowman Draft Auto PSA 9. Here's the back. Should have taken it out of the cover, but I didn't. But I uh, was excited to get that. It was a really good price. Picked it up shortly before... Uh, there was rumblings he was going to start playing. Um, I picked it up for about six bucks, seven bucks, somewhere in there. Um, the first game up, he started, went two for three, I think, uh, and it was a thirty-dollar card instantly after that. So I was pretty excited to pick that up. I have no idea where they're at now. I don't really care because I've got the one I want. So um, really glad you joined me here at the Cardboard Pub. Uh, hopefully, this finds you well. Uh, remember, collect what you love, love what you collect. Cheers.